What the fuck did you do with your decade? Really think about it. What the fuck did you do? So I can tell you what you did. You went to school, learned something, went home, studied those things, graduated, passed classes, and moved to different schools. And maybe you learned some new skills along the way. Did a few things for the first time, made a few new friends and lost old ones. And if you were lucky, had a few relationships. Now I can tell you all that because I did the exact same thing on my decade. Fuck all. I didn't become famous, earn a million pounds or change the world in any way. I was normal this decade. Now think about this for a second. What does normal mean? The definition of normal is conforming to a standard, usual, typical, expected. Now I know you're sat there thinking, I'm not normal. I do football, hockey, rugby and got an A star on my last exam. That's what makes us normal. It's normal to study and get a good grade. and It's normal to practice a sport and become good at it. Now, I'm not saying don't do all those things because these things are great. All I'm saying is don't be normal. What I mean by that is don't conform to a standard, usual, typical or expected. Do something unexpected. At the moment, it's unexpected to make a change. Currently, our world is dying and no one is bothering to make a change. We all share things on the internet and buy something that says eco-friendly on the packet. We all think that's good enough because everyone else in the world is doing that. But that's what makes us normal. So in the next decade, I want you to do something that's not normal and really make a change rather than repeating the last decade again. So I'm not saying fuck school and I'm not saying fuck making friends or fuck doing sport. I'm saying fuck being normal. So now for the next few minutes, I just want you to sit back and watch the video that I'm about to show you. My name's Kyle. Yep. Nice Edna. to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, Edna. So yeah, so what achievements uh, do you feel like you've done this decade? Like what sort of things do you achieve? What sort of things do you feel like really proud of that you've done this decade? So I moved to London. Oh really? Yeah, okay. from Portugal. Wow, and, nice. Uh, and then I came and then I started like working. And then I decided to go to university. But it took me a while. Um, because I came and then my my aim was to to go to university. All right. But I kind of got lost. Yeah. And then I start like working and then going out with friends and yeah, just yeah. enjoying just life getting caught up and things. Yeah, independent okay. life. But and then I decided like to go yeah. to university. That's why. Okay, cool. I joined um, taekwondo martial arts. All right. Okay. Nice. And uh, and now I have my black belt. Wow, so congratulations was, on that. Thank you, yeah, it was a big achievement for me. Yeah. So, what's sort of like your motivation behind everything? Because like, not everybody goes to university, not everybody takes up, was it Taekwondo? Yes. Yeah, so not everybody takes up, takes up Taekwondo and spends the time like, really to learn a skill. So, what's your drive? Like, why do you want to do that sort of thing in life? Uh, it was more like a challenge. Yeah? It's just like it's, it's something I always enjoyed, but I, I never kind of had the guts or the... Um, or thought I like it, I was capable okay. of doing it. So I gave it a shot and it's actually, yeah. Wow, that's really good. So you say like, you should just, even if you feel like maybe you can't possibly do something, you should just give it a shot anyway and just give it all. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the main, like the major example I can, I can give. It's just when you think like you can't do something and then you just, just give it a go. Yeah, give definitely. Go. <laughs> yeah, just make sure like you're always challenging yourself, pushing yeah. yourself to the limits, things like that. That's, yeah, that's correct. So it was, yeah, that my highlight. Oh, that's great. The past years. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your yeah. interview. It's thank much appreciated. Much. Thank you. Sorry, all the best. Thank you. Right, you too. So yeah, so what sort of things do you think you've achieved this decade and you feel like you're really proud of that you've done? Uh, well, my uh, own business, if you take that to start with, okay. involves uh, training for people in deep sea cargo transportation. Uh, and we've projected that out to Asia and the Middle East. Wow. And have been able to in fact, develop a, a working relationship with a lot of individuals and companies in these regions. Oh wow, that sounds re really so impressive. That's on a, if you like, a business scale. On a personal scale, difficult to say. I mean, my wife and I are still together. That yeah, that's great. Pushing 50 years, that's not bad. Well, congratulations on that. Uh, the children are all you know, healthy, pro progressing, which is great. That's great. Uh, so I, I couldn't ask for more of that context. Okay, so what pushed you towards like, making your own company then? And like you know, really sort of like going out there because that's quite a big thing to do. Chance, and that goes back uh, five decades. Uh, really? Basically, I started up the business. Oh wow! Uh, and that came from meetings with people in the industry. Okay. Uh, who uh, would go to very large events hoping to learn something about yeah. the complex business of shipping, and usually came away disappointed. Okay. So we developed the idea that uh, an educational-based program for senior executives. I'm not talking about things at the junior level which is the senior level right okay and those are our client base right so um with your business and your personal life so what sort of things do you want to achieve now with the next decade 
where, where do you see yourself going you know, with your business and like you know with like all your kids and things like that so what well i'm getting to the point where you have to hand it over to somebody right okay uh, you know, started the process for that uh, yeah going already uh, how that will pan itself out remains to be seen uh, it, uh, i'm not retired yet so no, no intention of retirement soon but i uh, obviously like to spend a bit more time with my wife yeah, so yeah definitely it's like... becoming more of a challenge uh, today Partly because companies don't have what appear to be the this, this same amount of uh, instinct for sending people away for education outside their own environment. Okay. They want to train them within the company yeah. rather than without. So, uh, yeah, with that sort of like it being more challenging now, does that sort of, you know, make you want to try harder and really like push more to sort of make it so, you know, people sort of, you know, it's less of a challenge in the future? Is that? Uh, I'd, like, I'd like a good relaxed life. Uh, so I try to find other ways around the data than pushing harder. Okay. Uh, hopefully more creative ways of uh, yeah. doing the same sort of thing. Run a few more programs, which sounds to you maybe like working harder. Yeah. But th those are the easy part of uh, life when you're actually with the people themselves. Yeah. Doing the training part. Well, that, that does sound like to me that you are pushing harder because you're trying to find different ways to make it like easier and make it better um, for everything. Because before you wouldn't have like sort of looked at that if there wasn't that challenge, uh, you know, placed in front of you, you wouldn't. I like try to find a better way to do something. I take your point, yeah. Yeah. In that sense, perhaps I'm working harder, but I don't feel it. Okay. I'm more relaxed about it. Well, that's great, though. Yeah. Uh, I think that's. I think that's great. Uh, yeah. Thank you for the interview. Thank you very much. Oh. Like you know, I seeing. Oh really? So wow. You can change direction. Yeah. And not, it's not the end of the world if you're not doing what you thought you were going to be doing. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, so, I should have said that. Well, I just think it's, it's interesting if people, you know, don't have to be stuck in a rut and go, exactly. you know, you suddenly make a decision and you change your whole life, your journey, your yeah. thought you were going to do. Yeah, so you'd say that, like, yeah, you don't have to follow a path. No, you, you, you have to be open to experiences and jump sometimes for that opportunity. Yeah, yeah definitely. And make it a leap of faith sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. Which is quite risky, so, you know, not, not yeah. people wouldn't... Um, Quite, quite a brave thing to do. Yeah, it definitely is. When you've got children to support and family to think about. Yeah, so as you say, so the message there is like, don't feel like you're, you have to stick to one thing. You can go out and you can try different things and make sure you're sort of always like looking for the best thing that's for you yeah. and what's right yeah. for you. That's almost a message to you and your generation. Yeah. yeah I, I would say you have to be open to an opportunity and I would say, go and say yes first and yeah, definitely. And I don't know if people appreciate that always. Yeah, yeah, no, I definitely, I definitely agree with you there. Yeah. So You'd always be open to doing new things. I always said that to our children. You know, if, if somebody offers you an opportunity that sounds really quite interesting, it's worth jumping in, go for it, and always say, I made a mistake, and go in another direction. Yeah. Rather than worrying too much about, about it. Really That's great. Yeah, cool. Advice. Thank you very much for that. Good luck. Yeah, that's really good input. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you two have a great day. Right, so I know that might have not been the most entertaining video ever. And I know there was maybe not the most amount of uh, footage there, you know, in terms of interviews, but I've had so many problems with this video. And it's I've been trying to record this for about a month now. So I just wanted to get it out. Like the amount of times I've gone out and recorded interviews and like either files been corrupt, the interviews haven't been good enough, or hasn't been enough, it's just crazy. So um, I just went with what I got. Um, which, you know, it's, it's a shame that I had to do that, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully if I ever make a video like this again, uh, which I probably will, I'm going to do loads of videos of the public. Um, but when it comes to making videos like this again, I definitely will make sure, you know, that um, none of the clips are corrupt. So I'll, I'll do my best to ensure that they don't become corrupt. Um, so I'll do that. And then as well as making sure the clips aren't corrupt, I'll make sure to interview plenty more people. Um, uh, I also just sort of try, or I, I try my best to, you know, get more people. It's going to be kind of hard to do that because you can't force people to interview with. But, you know, I just sort of develop my technique when interviewing people um, or when approaching people so they're more, uh, they feel more comfortable with doing an interview. Um, <clears throat> as well as that, uh, there is one interview that I still have the audio for 
but not the footage for. Um, it was probably one of my favorite ones. Uh, it, was, it was a really good one. I enjoyed interviewing this guy. He was really interesting. So I'm going to put the audio clip right after this clip ends, right after this shot ends, just so you guys can listen to it if you want to. It's about six minutes long. I'm going to put in the whole raw thing. So if you guys want to listen to this and sort of maybe get a bit inspired, because uh, this guy, he was really interesting. So I think you'll want to give him a listen. Uh, yeah, it was a really good interview. It's about six minutes long if you can sit through that. So yeah, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video for what it is so far, or what you know, just what it is. Um, if if you did, make sure to smash the like button. If you enjoyed it even more, make sure to su smash subscribe. In fact, like, even if you're new and you didn't enjoy this video, I mean, I don't know why you'd be this far into the video, but if you are new and you just, I don't know, didn't enjoy the video, check out some of the other ones. If you like them, you know, give them a like and subscribe as well. Uh, anyway, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching now you can listen to the rest of the six minutes if you want to or leave now it's up to you but i think you should stay anyway bye actually well one last message um just basically say the moral of the story the moral of this video sort of the whole idea behind it is you know i had the same thing with every single person I interviewed every single time they always just said to challenge themselves and try new things because if they didn't their decade wouldn't have been the you know the decade it was the really good decade they had so i would say if you were ever feeling if you ever have an opportunity to do something whether it's weird or strange that you would never do in your entire life just take opportunity just do something just really challenge yourself you know it's it's terrible to sort of let go of the opportunity because you never know when you get it again and you never know if you actually like it or not unless you try it so i think really what you gotta do is make sure you're always doing strange things and new things and weird things and things you you know just different things okay so always make sure you're like you know switching up doing crazy things you ever get opportunity to um also make sure to always challenge yourself you know don't if you ever if there's ever a point in your life where you feel completely content then do something or if you have a point in your life where you just feel really comfortable and you're relaxed, how about just, you know, think about, okay, what can I do to get out of my comfort zone? Because you're never going to progress unless you get out of that comfort zone. So if you're feeling comfortable, try to do something new and really progress, all right? So that's, um, that's another bit, thing. Uh, aside from that, I would say just make sure to take a leap of faith, okay? Because you're never going to make it anywhere unless you put a little bit of risk into whatever you're doing. Does that make sense? So I'll wear that properly. I'm just trying to think of this off the top of my head. So sorry if it's a bit shit. Um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Like I said earlier, subscribe or like or whatever, like, all that sort of stuff, all that goodness. And then you can continue watching this six minute thing, listen to the six minute thing if you want to. Anyway, yeah, this is final. Peace, bye, whatever. So yeah, whenever you're ready to, you know, start the interview. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, basically I'm just gonna ask you like about, so like what things have you achieved like this decade and what things do you think what you know want to sort of pursue and then achieve in the next decade and really want to yeah you know. so in i suppose the 2000s uh yeah we think well no the, well, the 2010s 2010 to 2020 yeah so what yeah. do you think you achieved this decade yeah i got a in my career wise i landed a really nice job working for our, ci our city mayor oh, really? which allowed me to have some influence and impact across the city of denver in a good way oh, that's great so that was great um got married um congratulations a stepdaughter who's 11 so from a personal standpoint you know i think this was probably the most the biggest decade i've ever had you know um traveled a lot because my wife works for an airline so our oh, wow. goal is to travel as much as we can so over the last 10 years we've probably been to i don't know 10 to 15 different countries as well too so yeah i think for me the last decade has been some of the most personal growth and achievements i've ever achieved well that's really good that's i mean that's great to hear yeah so like, what do you think made you sort of like, you know, want to like do all of this this decade? What do you think made your decade so great that like, you know, you really like... I put this. in a lot of hard work and time the decades before. Yeah. So I had built, established a really strong uh, uh, reputation for the work that I do. Yeah. And was really respected in my field That's of great. expertise. So I think... Uh, you know, the, the, the harder decades before were really the build up. So I think it was more the preparation for me yeah. that allowed the last decade to be the most successful for me. I don't know if there was anything per se, the decade itself it brought, but the decades before allowed me to really um, develop my skill set. Yeah. Uh, really, really 
not rush into things. So getting married after I was 40 instead of the 20. So there's a lot yeah. of things that kind of laid the groundwork for this decade to be really yeah. successful for me. So you say, you know, putting, putting, in, like all, putting in all that hard work mm -hmm. really like paid off, you know, yeah. you feel like really, uh, you've achieved a lot this decade and you like feel really happy Absolutely, with that. Absolutely, very much so. So what do you want to pursue and what do you want to like keep doing that, you know, this decade yeah, and so yeah, next yeah. decade? You know, I think... You want to try anything new? Yeah, yeah. For me, I moved from a small town in Mississippi which is the south in the States, to Colorado, which is a big move. I've been there about 17 years. Would love to be able to move my family back to the UK. Yeah, really. So uh, my wife is English. She wants our daughter to grow up English. So I think we're really thinking about how we can make the move back here. Oh, wow, yeah. Kind of plant some roots here, which would be significant for me. Um, yeah. You know, I realized, found out 80, my bloodline's about 85%. Uh, English oh, really? and Eastern European so okay. there's a returning to the roots there so I think when I think of the next and so that would mean to me kind of turning a page and starting a whole new chapter I wouldn't you think so because the industry I was in which is government and working with young people doesn't necessarily just translate over yeah yeah so it definitely. really would be kind of con the second half of my life could maybe looking at a different type of career path really? so kind of the idea would be to get back here with my family and plant some roots and then kind of see from a professional standpoint what that would look like. A little bit of the unknown that is exciting. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's great to know. Thank you very much for sharing Absolutely. all that. Absolutely. It's a pleasure you. Uh, just a YouTube video that I'm nice. making, basically. Yeah, I just want to try and inspire people, yeah. you know, really make them, like, feel like they can just achieve anything for the next decade and just, like, they can, you it's, know. It's actually a moment ask. Yeah, yeah. Is there a point in your life where you, like, um, you kind of, like, Obviously, for the younger generations, uh, when obviously when you're like, there's a, there's a point in your life where I feel like for most people, where you're like, right, I've actually got to like knuckle that, down and do some like, do something with myself. Uh, was there anything specifically that happened to you that made that? You know, I was my I was my neither my parents graduated high school, so I was the first high school graduate, college graduate, and post college, I just. I remember my dad telling me, I don't care what you do, just be happy what you're doing. Yeah. Definitely. And that was a really turning point for me because I didn't feel like I had to pursue money, that I could pursue uh, careers, and I really was passionate about changing the world. So I can remember that conversation still to this day of he telling me that. Yeah. And I think um, a lot of setbacks here and there, and there, there's those momentary setbacks, right? Um, and sometimes you just got to think about the next hour then get to the next day and the next week. And what we yeah. sometimes want to do is get from year one to year 10 automatically. So I think the biggest thing I can say is, hey, look, it's like these stones right here, right? Focus on that stone there, then focus on that stone there. So for me, it was just getting that support from my family, knowing that they didn't need me to go out and become a millionaire. And that though I was going to pursue something I really love to do, that might yeah. mean some hard times. And there were hard times with finances and stuff like that, but I kept pushing through, and I think more than anything, um, just never giving up. Yeah. Wanting to give up, thinking about, even when I moved to Colorado by myself, by my, it was lonely as hell. Yeah. And I cool. wanted to almost like, I don't know if I want to be here, but I just kept saying no. And yeah, I kept, keep pushing, just kept yeah. pushing it through. And, you know, what's the one, I always say when you're in a shitty job and you don't want to do it and you're miserable, but you feel stuck, just update your resume or something. Do one little thing that feels like you're taking a step to change your situation. So you don't have to change your situation at once. What's an immediate thing you could do that's a step in changing your situation? Because I truly believe to get where most people want to be, there's a lot of setbacks. There's a lot of trials and tribulations. So you have to be prepared to know how. And you're going to be told no and you're going to be be asked why and you have to figure out why you keep pushing on yeah. that's you know nothing comes easy so yeah I think that's the biggest thing for me yeah. there's no one incident but the advice from my dad yeah. kind of liberated me to know I could pursue what I wanted to do okay. that's super good, good job guys yeah. happy new year to you yeah, happy new year with to the you rest too. of the video okay yeah thank have you very much bye. bye it's pretty good I was just thinking about I was just thinking about how your video is gonna pan out and then like there's gotta awesome. be a theme of like how how it gets like how it gets to that gets point. Tough.